Hello everyone and welcome to another video in my YouTube channel. Today we are going to transform my terminal on Mac OS into something that looks like this before, but will look like this after, okay? That being said, let's just get started and the first thing you need to acknowledge is that we are not going to use the terminal that comes by default with Mac OS. So this is the terminal that comes by default and we are not going to use this one. We are going to download an alternative called iTerm2 which allows us to make much more customizations, okay? So I'm going to click on download and once I click on download you can see that I have this zip here on my downloads folder. I can click on the zip to uncompress it and then I'm going to drag my application into the list of applications. Once I have done that, I can already close my browser and I can open iTerm2 uh, on the list of my applications and I can put iTerm2 side by side um, next to the default terminal on macOS. You can see that iTerm2 and the regular terminal look very similar by default, however, iTerm2 allow us to make much more customizations. So that being said, I'm gonna customize iTerm2 to look pretty. Um, let's get started. I'm gonna click on iTerm2 on the top left and then settings. And the first thing I want to do is really change the theme. So I'm gonna click on appearance, general theme, and change the theme from regular to minimal. And once I do this, you can already see that the top bar looks a little bit better. Uh, then I'm gonna click on paints and I'm gonna adjust the margins uh, left and right, but also top and bottom. You can see that uh, here we have very little to nothing of space to breathe. So I'm gonna increase the side margins from five to 15. And now we have a little bit more space to breathe, even though the font is too small at the moment, but when the font gets bigger, you will see really the difference. Uh, same goes for the top bottom margins. We are going to increase this from two to five. Once we do this, we can now jump into profiles and start playing a little bit with a preset of colors. So I'm gonna click on uh, profiles, colors, and then I'm gonna choose a different preset of colors. By default, the colors don't, are not great in iTerm2, so I'm gonna click on visit online store to really choose my own preset of colors. We have here on this online store a bazillion of different themes. However, I'm gonna search for this one, call it uh, Lovelace, which is one of my favorites, and I'm gonna click on Lovelace, okay? This will display the raw set of colors, but what we really want is import this preset on our terminal, so I'm gonna click on Options, Save Page As, and then I'm gonna choose um, the extension to be uh, Lovelace iTerm uh, Colors, okay? And I'm gonna save this on my desktop. Uh, finally, once I do this, I can close my uh, browser and I can click again on color presets and I'm going to choose the option import. And what I'm going to do here is import uh, this new uh, preset of colors, as you can see, once, and once I do that, I can click again on preset of colors and I see the lovelies. Um, appearing here on uh, the list of presets. And uh, once I click on it, you can see already that it looks a little bit better in terms of coloring our terminal. Of course, the font is still too small, so let's increase that. I'm gonna click on uh, Profiles, Colors, Text. And once I do that, I can uh, change the font from Monaco into something a little bit better, such as JetBrains Mono. JetBrains Mono is a free font which you can download from the JetBrains website. And finally, I can also change the cursor from something like uh, box to uh, underline, for example. So as you can see, the box looks like this, but the underline looks a little bit better. Uh, let's increase the font a little bit so you can really see the difference. So here we have 12, let's increase this to 25 to really make it bigger. And once I do this, you can see that the cursor box looks like this by default and the underlined cursor looks even better. Finally, we want to make um, our terminal to have some space to breathe. So by default, the space between lines is 100. I wanna make this 150. Uh, once I do that, I can already close my list of preferences and let's compare the before and the after, okay? So here I have, um, here I am on the old terminal, I can jump into my Laravel folder, for example, and I can click on uh, PHP Artisan Make Command, for example. So this is the default theme on macOS and let's see the difference now on the new terminal. 
I'm going to uh, also jump into my uh, Laravel uh, folder and I'm going to type PHP Artisan make command and you can see that um, the new terminal looks just way better than the old one. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for your support in the last videos. Uh, you guys are great just smashing that like button, but also we just have reached 3000 subscribers. Thank you so much for being on that side and see you all next video.